there, friends. Welcome to Queer Kid Stuff. I'm Lindsay. And I'm Teddy. Today, we're talking about coming out. We all are part of one big family. Gaming's happy. Queer Kid Stuff. You are enough here at Queer Kid Stuff. You ready for this one, Teddy? Ready. Okay. So we've actually already talked a little bit about coming out when we talked about Frozen with my sister Rose. Oh yeah! We were talking about Elsa. That's right. I'll jog your memory too. Coming out is short for coming out of the closet. Coming out of the closet is about the moment, most of the time it's the first moment, when an LGBTQ plus person tells another person that they identify as LGBTQ plus. Oh, okay, I see. So. There aren't any real closets? It's a metaphor. A meta what? A metaphor. Something that stands in for something else. Like, it's not literally about coming out of a closet, Teddy. Oh, okay. I think I get it. Coming out of the closet can be a big deal for people and it can be really scary. But being LGBTQ plus is awesome. Yeah, it is. But remember when we talked about homophobia? Yeah. Well, that's what can make it scary to come out especially to family and friends. Sometimes people are homophobic and they just don't get it. Whenever LGBTQ plus people come out, it's incredibly important that they feel safe and accepted. Coming out doesn't sound like fun. Well, it can be scary, but it can also be a really awesome thing. Someone who's coming out for the first time is finally telling everyone something super important about themselves that they've been hiding. They're finally swinging open the closet door to show everyone who they really are. That is the really cool part of coming out. Oh yeah, that does sound kind of cool. I came out as gay to my family almost five years ago now, and I've grown a lot since then. And I've come out a lot since then too. Wait, you had to come out again? Well, sort of. LGBTQ plus people don't just come out once. That's the first time, and the first time is always the hardest. But we have to come out all the time. LGBTQ plus people come out at school, at work, and in a bunch of different places and to different people all the time. It's actually kind of exhausting sometimes. That's a lot of closets, Lindsay. That is a lot of closets. One day, I really hope that I won't have to come out anymore. That being LGBTQ plus won't be something we feel like we have to hide in a closet or that we have to tell everyone about. That sounds like it would be really nice, Lindsay. Teddy? Yeah, Lindsay? I actually have something kind of important I want to talk to you about. What is it, Lindsay? Well, a little while ago, I talked to all of our friends about this, and I wanted to talk to you, too. Okay. It's about gender. Well, my gender. And you know how I've always used she pronouns and said that I'm a cisgender woman? Yeah! Well. Over the last few months, I figured out that that's not totally true anymore. And I think I've always felt this way, but I didn't really know why. I want people to use they pronouns for me, and I think I'm non-binary. Oh, okay. You're changing your pronouns to they? I didn't know you could change your pronouns. <laughs> you can, and that's how I feel. Are you okay, Teddy? This is kind of a big thing for me, and I was a little nervous to tell you about it. I love you, Lindsay. I love you too, Teddy. We're they buddies now! <laughs> yes. I'm really, really glad I told you, Teddy. <laughs> you want to do the outro? Yes, yes. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you so much for watching Queer Kid Stuff. We've got a whole new season of videos coming at you every other Wednesday. Don't forget to hit subscribe on YouTube, like the Facebook page, and donate to our Patreon page like our pals over there. You can also check out our website, QueerKidStuff.com. We'll see you next time at Queer, Queer Kid Stuff. Kid Stuff.